I want to find this limit. This is a hard limit. It's not obvious what it is because this side, this, this piece gets very large and then I'm subtracting from it something that's getting very large so it's not clear at all what happens. And so the only way we're going to be able to figure out what this limit is is to do some interesting algebra. Now the interesting algebra that will help is this. a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b in parentheses times this expression. And you can verify this is true very easily. Just multiply out the right hand side. Use the distributive law to take a across here and then take negative b across these plus signs and everything will cancel except for these two terms here. So we're going to use this, uh, this little uh, formula here to help analyze this uh, limit. Now um, at this point I'm going to take this and that's equal to itself times this thing divided by this thing. Now this may look a little mysterious but what I'm doing is I'm letting this term equal a and this term equal b and so really this thing that I'm multiplying by is just a squared plus ab plus b squared on the top and on the bottom so it doesn't change anything. Now you see what happens is this top part reduces to this namely this thing cubed minus this thing cubed. And so you see the two n cubes cancel. It's very fortunate. So what I'm going to do is cancel them off. This one minus this one is zero. And then I'll have a five n squared in the top. So I will then divide by n squared on the top and on the bottom. Now this leads to this expression here. You see I canceled off the n cubes and then I divided the top by n squared and the bottom by n squared. But I wrote it this way. Now when I divided this term by n squared, one of the n's canceled. So I ended up just with an n. And I'm writing that as n cubed to the one third. And then there's an n squared divided by n squared that gave a one. So now if you look at this from the, um, the way we do um, uh, roots and exponents, this is equal to this. And now uh, inside here you have 1 plus 5 over n. Inside here 1 plus 5 over n. And so it's reasonable to suppose that as n gets large this expression will converge to 5 thirds.